Hey everyone. So, uh, this is the next day of our epic Wyoming adventure. And we are at someplace very, very special where we were going to be literally all day. We are at the Blue Forest, which has amazing petrified wood with blue chalcedony, which uh, obviously is a uh, wonderful thing. So that's not all though, check it out. We've got Montana Rock Mom. And joining us all the way from Oregon is World of Rock Hounds. Don't let the hat fully. I've met Mr. Beast or Dan Hurt. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just right here on the surface, which encourages me a lot. Look at this thing. There's crystals inside of this wood. Kind of just exploring and trying to figure out where I, exactly I want to set up because this looks better at least, but I don't know. I just don't know. This looks already way better than mine. Both of mine, both of the two that I tried. Hmm, yeah, that's the bright looking stuff right there. All right, well, let's see what we can get. I am so happy we decided to bring this. Ah, oh, it helps so much. Shade. Over here, it's like high 80s. Over here, it's like 90s. All right, guys, big score right here. Look at that, it's my first round. Oh, it's not little either. Okay, we gotta be careful about that one. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, all right. I'll be right back. I got to get this out. Okay. Now I'm freaking happy. Look at this. Oh, look at that. It's literally like a big agonized stick. Check that out. Okay. I'm thrilled. <laughs> that is so nice. And if you look like right there, that is so, so agony. Oh, that's awesome. There's another chunk hiding in there. That is going to be really nice. Probably going to be keeping most of these intact because I'm afraid of breaking them, trying to hammer them out. So it might be best to just try prepping them with the scribe. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. All right, so I had a big piece of that matrix right here. I'm trying to break it up so that I can get it out of the way. And this right here, nice, nice, nice chalcedony just fell off the front. And I looked down. That's a big round. So we're gonna slow way down so we can get that in one piece. Oh my gosh. This is really cool. The matrix surrounding the wood is actually algae, fossil algae. And it looks a lot like stromatolite and it's really, really cool. And I'm definitely gonna keep a couple pieces just cause I like it. Actually, I wonder how it would look cut and polished. In other news, I've got this log uh, uncovered a little more, but it's still slow going. I don't want to break it. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been insanely slow going, but here's where I have it so far. <laughs> I think, unfortunately, it goes even farther back there, which means, uh, yeah, I have my work cut out ahead of me because I have to... <laughs> move all this stuff so that I can get to the end of it. But look at the size of that thing. That is not a small log. We've made a lot of progress, but I don't think we're done yet. <laughs> uh, oh, it's gonna be worth it though. We tagged out and now Kyle's helping me. I am a dwarf and <laughs> Look at him go. You dig. <laughs> I don't think we should get in trouble for that. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I think that's that's outside the realm of copyright, maybe. You guys, look at this progress. Look at this progress. Your friendly neighborhood dwarf helped so much. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. So once I get this log out, I see a bunch more of that matrix material. So I'm gonna try to clear this out a little more because I feel like we could probably fit multiple people in here because we found really, really good ones. Well, just two, but the two have been outstanding, so. All right, let's do this. Stop procrastinating. All right, that took way freaking longer than I thought it was going to. Wind picked up like crazy. Um, just because of the nature of how this was in the stone, cut, definitely coming out multiple pieces, that's fine. They're pretty clean, so I should be able to repair it very, very easily. But the moment is finally here. It is about ready to come out. And I'm so happy. All right, I'll be back momentarily. All right, guys, it's free, finally. So this is all the bottom third came out in chunks. Very, very clean breaks though. So we're gonna be able to, wow, I just slapped myself with my pickaxe. Anyway, <laughs> it's gonna be easy to put it back together. The top third came off in three pieces and then the middle came out extremely cleanly. Look at all that. Okay, check this out. Look at the blue 
chalcedony that literally surrounds that whole piece. Then you go up a little farther. <laughs> Look at the seam of bots. I'm honestly debating leaving those two chunks off so that that log, once it's put back together, really, really shows off the, the chalcedony, but I'm not sure yet. And then this one has a ring of chalcedony all the way around the trunk. That's gonna be so cool. <laughs> all right, we need to go straight to Kim's car so that I can get bubble wrap so that I can wrap this stuff up because it's gonna be super fragile and I do not want to lose a single piece on our way back. <laughs> all right, guys, here it is all laid out. Bottom third, super clean brakes. Middle piece actually came out in one piece. Top third came out in three pieces, which will go together very easily. I, <laughs> I have no words. I was not expecting. <laughs> to find a monster like that today. That is crazy. Alrighty, well, after that big one, I feel that I have uh, earned a break. So we're gonna walk around and do some surface collecting. Honestly, I kind of prefer the surface collecting for stuff that I wanna do like lapidary stuff with, like cutting and polishing and that kind of stuff, just cause yeah, <laughs> the stuff you dig out is more like specimen grade. So you don't have to ruin a specimen. Just find the ones that are already broken on the surface. Like, see, look at this, look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's in a discard pile. That's freaking beautiful. That is stunningly gorgeous. And there's another one where to go. I just saw it. There it is. Yeah. I love this agate material so much. That there is some good wood. See some nice grain in there. It's really, really dark. <laughs> I feel like I've, deserved, I've earned my break after how long I was digging. Oh, it's so hot. Oh my gosh. All right, so for one, look at that seam of chalcedony. I don't know if I want to keep that one. I just want to show you. Next to it, we've got this seam of chalcedony. It's got dendrites and stuff. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Does it glow? Yeah, it does. Definitely want to keep that one. And then this, I love bots. Bots make me so happy. Ooh, and then we got this one. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it just brings a smile to my face. Again, I say surface collecting is a good thing. Someone just discarded this entire like half log. Are you serious? Seriously, you guys, there is some real good stuff right here in the discards. Like for example, <laughs> this nearly complete round. <laughs> Heck yes, I will happily accept that. What are you? Oh, that's more. What? Are you serious? That's awesome. <laughs> you guys, the stuff I'm finding on the surface is actually crazy. All right, everyone. Um, I kind of forgot I make YouTube videos for a while there. It's been a minute since I recorded. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so uh, we are tag team in this pocket because I know there's more in there. We actually found another one right here, which is not bad. Not bad at all, but I know there's more in there. We just got to get past all this shale to actually get into it. All right, well, for starters, I think I win the day with this amazing tiny baby limb cast. <laughs> but actually, I just did some surface collecting. We just found this, which has a bunch of little ones in it. All those chalcedony pockets. And then I found this right here, which is indeed a limb. And this right here, which is indeed a limb. I feel like there was another one. What did I do with it? Did I lose it? It's probably still over there. I should probably go get it. Anyway, though, I'm going to move and try a new hole. <laughs> okay, so, oh, wind. Sorry, not much I can do about the wind. Um, we are all on this spot because we keep finding crazy stuff. It's big enough for all of us once we move all this stuff out of the way. And yeah, Kim found a monstrous log. I it's, want this log so bad. Like, seriously. And it's only six. We have, like, another at least two hours. So, yeah. Like, I'm not... I'm going to spend the night in this hole. Yeah, until we, we get it. <laughs> like, we seriously have to retrieve no, this thing. Don't. It's crazy. It's nuts. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start moving all this stuff so we can dig while we're working on the log. And, yeah, I'll be back. All right, guys. Kim extricated the... The wood. I don't know if it keeps going. Or if that's the end of it. Oh my gosh, that's nice. 
Look at that. <laughs> that void is just completely filled with sediment. I bet that's all bots all the way through. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. That is. Yeah, I don't know. It, there could be more of it behind there, but it's hard to say. Mine kind of just ended abruptly. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Dude, that's got some character. That's super cool. Look at that ring of bots. That's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that is really cool. Dang, good fun. And we're all starving. Uh, Kim and I literally didn't get dinner yesterday. Dinner was just snacks because we got... Really breakfast today. Yeah, exactly. Lunch today <laughs> or really dinner Yeah, it's like seven. Pretty so. much. So like when we got in yesterday, everything was closed because we got in so late. So we're starving. We're going to go get food. Um, I'll see you all back at the shop where I'm going to repair the big one. We're going to clean everything off. We're going to cut some. It's going to be good times. And dude... First time meeting Kyle in person, <laughs> freaking awesome. I don't know if you guys know this, but like I've done a podcast with this guy for like two years now. <laughs> so, over two years at this point, I think. Yeah, over two yeah. years. And this is the first time we've met in person. So I'll have a link to that in the description if you want to go check that out, where we talk about random nonsense every Thursday, uh, every other Thursday. Sorry, correct myself. <laughs> All right, we are back. So. <sighs> what are we gonna do? I think I'm gonna pick out a handful of specimens that we can cut. Um, I wanted to prep my my stick, my blue stick, and while that is happening in the background, I'm going to be repairing my log. So let me pick out some pieces to cut. All right, I think we're gonna start by cutting this one right here. See how it comes out. And while that's cutting, we're gonna take this right here and this right here and throw them into muriatic acid. It will not touch the matrix or the chalcedony, but it will remove all of this stuff on top. So let's go do that. Both things, all three I guess. While we're waiting for that to cut, let's prep this one. Okay, so if you look, we've got a separation between the stick and the matrix, and I don't want to extract this. I just want to pull it out. So we're going to stop right there. And you know what? This one's going to go in the muriatic as well. And while we're at it, I also have this limb cast that I want to toss in there because I see a bunch of dingy, broken up calcite that is hiding some bots. So let's go do that. That is so strange. First one's cut. That wood is like black. Which you saw it beforehand. It didn't it definitely did not look like that. That is wild. I if there's a way we can bleach that somehow. I don't know. Not all of the pieces are dark like that though. I've seen we have some that are like, I don't know, more rich reddish browns, but dang, that's crazy. Alright, there's one more test that I wanted to run. And that's I wanted to see how the matrix itself actually looks when we cut it. Because I don't remember if I mentioned this in the video, like while we were hunting or not. But that matrix is actually um, fossilized algae. It looks a lot like stromatolite, so I'm thinking if we cut it, it might yield some cool results. So let me grab a piece. All right, so here's a piece of the, uh, well, I almost just called it stromatolite. It's not stromatolite, it's fossilized algae. Well, I guess pretty much stromatolite. It's got that rolly, lumpy, bumpy texture. It's got some interesting banding to it though. So I think, yeah, let's cut a piece, see what it looks like. I'm kind of interested. All right, so to answer the question, yes, it cuts very well. And that detail is just minute. I don't know if you can see all the rolling texture, like kind of banded texture. Looks just like stromatolite, just on a micro level. Again, it's, it's fossilized algae, so it pretty much is stromatolite, but still. Now the real question is, Will it take a polish? Now, uh, I have a rare opportunity to say this, but I went there with the, you know, master of getting a polish, so this is not my question to answer. Let's all go harass World of Rockhounds and make him polish a piece so we can see how well it polishes. Consider yourself called out, Kyle. All right, there's one more thing that I wanna do. I have this limb cast that I found. This is the one that I put in the muriatic acid. It's very nice. Um, here's the thing, though. It has a little shell of chalcedony around it, which is cool, 
It's also very, very thin, and it's kind of hiding a lot. It just kind of looks like a blumpy, bumpy mass. So here's my thinking. I think if we take the scribe, we can peel away that top layer because then it will reveal this beautiful botryoidal chalcedony that's covering the petrified wood. And I think that would be a really, really cool specimen if it was just a wood, like, you know, limb, and the butt completely surrounding it is just beautiful bots. So I think let's head over to the scribe and see what we can do. looks way freaking better but it's gonna look even more better -er. so as you can see there are spots where I can't reach the calcite with my scribe so this is gonna go back into the muriatic acid for a little bit and you will see it again shortly all right I'm afraid of how long this video is getting so let's take a look at some of the fine okay so um, remember those two that we put in the muriatic acid right at the beginning yeah well here they are that is absolutely stunning. Look at the druzy. Beautiful bots. Just sitting on Matrix. There's actually no petrified wood in there. I find it so funny. So you guys, you know, and anyone that watches my channel knows that I am uh, a big fan of agate and chalcedony. I find it hilarious how much of this outstanding material is just in people's discard piles. Like they don't have any interest in it if there's not petrified wood involved. <laughs> Like, okay, I happily claim this because it had potential to be amazing, which it is now. And here's the other one. I might do something with this to see if I can expose it a little better. That seam of chalcedony runs all the way through, but check this out. Look at the crystals in there. They're so nice. I love it. So what I'm thinking I might do is try to split this right here. So instead of being a pocket you can see through, it's two plates like this one. Cause so I think it'll just show off the pocket better. I'm just afraid of breaking it in the wrong way. That is so pretty. All right, so next is this piece and this is super freaking cool. So if we look, there are actually little geode pockets in here filled with smoky quartz. How Freaking cool is that? These ones have like a coating on them. I might put them in iron out to see if we can get rid of that. But it's just so bizarre, look at that. We roll it over slightly. Look at that, that's all smoky cords. Just beautiful. It's almost like, I think it lignitized. See how dark it is? It almost looks like burnt. This is really, really cool. So it's got a whole whole lot of uh, chalcedony around it. Nice wood texture. I think it is actually multiple glued together with nice chalcedony pockets. It's gonna be really nice. Um, this one right here is cool. So this is uh, mostly the matrix. Then you look on the end, that is a round hiding in there filled with Dog tooth calcite crystals, which is pretty cool. Actually, those might be ROMs. Never mind. Either way, filled with calcite, pretty awesome. And then this is a really nice round that I found. Nice limb toward the end of the day. Got to get that out somehow. I think I want to extract that one, but look at the freaking blue. It's so pretty. It's so fantastic. And that one's actually not small. That's that's a pretty good one. <laughs> okay, so next we have the two limbs that I prepped. And these two, other than the grand finale, are probably my favorites. So look at the transformation of this thing right here. This is the one we just prepped. That's amazing. And right there actually twists. And right there. And now let's get up close. And look at all of the amazing chalcedony bots on there. This is an incredible specimen. It's kind of just a lumpy rock to begin with, but that's an insane specimen. 
Now, I didn't say it yet because I was waiting till it was finished so I could say this. <laughs> Here's the surprising part. I found this in a discard pile. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's amazing what a little bit of love and the right tools can do. Because that went from being someone's discard to one of my favorite specimens that I got all day. Alright, and here's my blue limb that I dug. It's so blue, you guys. Completely agonized all the way through. It's so blue. Look at the color. I actually got some cool bots all the way through there, but it's just so blue. Oh, there I am. And it glows. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. This is insane. Like, I was hoping that I might find one like that. That's just such a good example of a blue limb cast. But, yeah, I, I cannot stress enough how happy I am with this thing. It's so freaking nice. And I'm definitely not going to extract it. I actually like having it just kind of sitting out of the matrix like that. That is just such a cool specimen. Time for the moment you've all been waiting for. I constructed it. It went together incredibly cleanly. And it is so much nicer than I could have hoped for. Here is the log. It repaired very, very, very cleanly. And it looks absolutely insane. It's 21, 22, 22 20 inches long. Seriously, you guys, the blue on this thing is crazy. Look at that. That seam goes so deep and it's just so rich oh my gosh and then we've got this one up here that is amazing i seriously could absolutely not be more happy with this thing look how deep that goes and there's so much blue there's just so much blue unbelievable no way did i think i was going to get a specimen like this are you serious absolutely crazy i love it <laughs> i love it so very much and yeah uh that was worth spending like three and a half four hours digging oh my gosh it's so nice it's so nice and i'm so very happy that when it came out multiple pieces the pieces were super clean because it actually went together really 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 cleanly i mean it's huge it's just gigantic I could not be happier. What an insane day. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for this one. And I was hoping we'd find some good stuff, but I absolutely was not expecting to come away with such absolutely outstanding specimens. Like, oh my gosh. So, yeah, uh, needless to say, we're going back. That might have to be a once-a-year trip, honestly, because that's insane. I, I, I don't know how I'm going to beat that anytime soon, but still... <laughs> I like these little ones enough that even, uh, yeah, it's worth going back even for these little guys. Huge shout out to Montana Rock Mom and World of Rock Hounds for going on that awesome adventure with me. If you have not already, uh, make sure you check out their channels. I'll have links to both in the description. The uh, Gem Mineral Show is fast upon us. I also am making videos like crazy for the Gem Mineral Show. So, uh, if you haven't noticed, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be posting multiple times a week because I have a whole lot of time-sensitive videos that need to get out before the show. And that show is only two weeks away, so yeah, you can do that math and see where there's a problem. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled for other videos because it is going to be more than just the normal Saturday upload for a while. Speaking of, we have more videos from this trip than there. Oh my gosh, we got crazy stuff on this trip. Uh, in the next one, I'm really, really excited for you guys to see because we went to one of my bucket list places and found so much amazing stuff. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.